Hey guys, what's up? Pranjay here and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope you guys are having a great time. And if you guys have not subscribed to my channel yet, just press the subscribe button below. So today we're going to talk about, you know, all the new drone laws that has come up in India recently. And this discussion has been going on since, you know, like almost a week now or like even more. And the government has finally come up with an initiative, a plan where they're going to start registering drones online. So yeah, today we're going to talk about three major topics. Firstly, what is uh, CAR, the initial initiative taken by the government of India? What is OAN and uh, DAN? And thirdly, why it is really important for all the drone pilots to you know register their drones right now. So yeah, without further ado, let's get started. So starting with the first thing, what is CAR? CAR stands for Civil Aviation Requirements. So basically, these are you know the requirements the compliances that all the drone pilots and all the drones need to comply with in order to you know fly drone in India. So I think around last year in December 2018 uh, the government came up with a website where you know you can uh, register your drone and yourself as a drone pilot but uh, there was a slight problem there the website was not completely uh, you know made and at that time there were no compliances with any other drone brands in the website so even though you start registering yourself when you're starting to register the drone the rpa device uh, in the rpa types there was no uh, you know there was no list there even though there was a drop down and there were no drones in the list so you could not successfully register your drone on the website so that was one big flaw in the website and that's how it has been the website was not updated uh, like at least till uh, you know last I checked in December 2019. So talking about the next topic now what is OAN and DAN and why it is really important now. So uh, I know that you guys might, might have come across you know this document where uh, the government has you know mentioned the importance of registering your drone. So basically OAN stands for Operator Acknowledgement Number and DAN stands for Drone Acknowledgement Number. So the government basically has the plan that first they need to know what all civil drones you know are already existing in India and what all pilots are there like the quantity basically like number of people who are flying drone in India right now so you know the registration part of this you know getting an OAN and DAN is not that difficult you can easily go to their website and in the top itself you see this option where you can first register yourself as the operator of the drone uh, where you have to give all your details with your education qualifications your permanent address your Aadhaar number and all those details and then later you can enlist your drones once you get that OAN number and after enlisting your drone there you have the option to you know mention the model number the type of drone you have the brand of drone you have and you know the number of kgs it has so all those details so even after registering yourself on the website uh, and getting your valid OAN and DAN you actually don't have the right to fly the drone in India as of now so now we're talking about getting your drone registered in the CAR provisions so for that purpose right now DJI is not still part of the list of the drones and you know like me as well as Almost every other drone pilot in India right now has a DJI drone. That's the best right right now in the world. So uh, right now in those lists, DJI is not there. So unfortunately, you cannot register your DJI drone with the CR provisions that give you the authority to fly the drone in India. But still, you need to you know register yourself with the OAN and DAN so that right now the list has your registration over there, and it's again a very important thing. So now coming to the third point which is really important why you need to register yourself you know on the website trust me guys you guys need to be there in that list to make that quantity look huge if if, if suppose i am in the government and i see that okay 50 percent to 70 percent of people in india are only flying dji drones maybe they will give that provision to a chinese company which they were not initially planning to due to you know political rivalries so with having that rough idea of the number of people they want to decide on the laws they want to make and imply over droning uh, and you know like to make it more safe and secure around people and everything so this is the whole idea that has been taken up by the government right now so all they need right now is the data of the number of people who are actually you know having a drone right now so you guys don't need to worry about anything right now and hopefully like you know many of us uh, have DJI drones even I could not register my drone on the website as there is no option to you know select DJI in the list so 
uh, I hope you understand the importance of you know you being part of the list where you have registered your DJI drone on the website. So make sure that even though I know you're not getting that CR provision right now, but the, getting the ON and DN done is really important. So do register yourself on the website. And yeah, if you have any, if you face any problems, you can just drop a comment in the comment section and I'm there to help you anywhere, anytime. So yeah, I think with this, we can wrap our video and I'll see you guys soon with another vlog of mine. Till then, peace out.